То есть ты. So you changed your name and went to Boris's house to kill him? Yes, that's how stupid I was. I had no proof that Boris ordered the murder of my parents. And even if I had, no one would believe me. Okay, Basta, your turn. Why do you need the invitation? I made a mistake once. Now I owe very serious people. I can solve this problem. But I need the software of Boris's invention. And you can't just give the money. I thought you were rich. Not as much. So, we'll take part in a robbery. No, I have a better plan. We will escape from this endless blood feud, from the debts and get married. Will you marry me? Is that yes? <laughs> Don't tell me you're in love with that bastard. Timur is not a bastard. Scratchy lady. I keep telling you again, I need your documents, passport, clinic record. Episode 4. Are you mocking me? I just want to know why my mother passed away. I can't give you an official conclusion without all the documents. In fact, you should talk to the chief doctor. I don't need the official one. I would advise you to talk to the pathologist, but unfortunately, he has resigned very unexpectedly. Yes, very unexpectedly. Can you give me his address or any contacts? Please. Sophia, a quick question. Do you have any contacts for Petrovsky by chance? The one who quit today? No way. You don't even have a copy. Someone is asking about him. Okay, thanks. I'll see you for lunch. What? Did he vanish with the home address? Something like that. He quit with a scandal refused to work for two weeks, and took his personal file. I can even guess why. And the doctors who came to my mother's house, can I talk to them? Or did they also quit unexpectedly? Well, I can help with that. Did you come to the house of Evelina Wojtkowska? Did she die in your presence? Young man, what do you want from me? We did everything we could, but we're not gods, you know. Why are you nervous? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what my mother died. Hypotension, cardiovascular failure, heart collapse, massage didn't help. We followed the protocol. Her doctor can confirm this. She was there too. Yes, I will ask her. I will definitely ask her. I'm sick of this rude attitude. We work non-stop for two shifts, and they humiliate us. And the husband of that woman pulled off her bracelet. He thought we were going to steal it. Did you know the victim? Kira Mikhailovna. Kutima. From the 42nd apartment. 
Young, beautiful doctor. Why did she jump out of the window? Married? No. Though somebody came to see her several times. Very showy, in an expensive car, with bodyguards. Do you know him? No. Maybe you've seen him. You know, I don't remember anything now. Blonde, brunette, at least some signs. I can't remember. Son, instead of quarreling, let's focus on mom's funeral. The funeral, the presentation, I think we should cancel it. No, Dad. We have to hold it. For Mum's sake. So that it's not in vain. You think wisely. Of course we will. I just have one request for you. Don't marry Kira yet. Please. What are you talking about? I wasn't going to. Anfisa, are you ready? I'll see who is there. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. Here. Wow, it doesn't look like jewelry, but thank you. This is an invitation to our presentation. Will you come with me? Sure. Is this your mobile doctor? No, just an invitation. It works only at the entrance. We will give out real bracelets at the presentation. You seem strange. Did something happen? My mom was killed. How come, who? My stepfather. Stepfather. Has he been arrested? No. Everything is perfect, no witnesses. Alive. And so what's next? Are you just going to stand there and talk about it? Revenge is best served cold. Have you heard that? In short, come to this life celebration. It will be fun. Wait, you're up to something? Yeah. I am a big boy now. I can handle my problems. Don't worry. You realize that you can't bring your mom back, whatever you do. And you realize that I can't stay idle. I can understand that. Great. See you then. Put on something stylish and pretty. For the occasion. The last question, why me? Because this morning, I was thinking only about you. Congratulations, mission accomplished. Is it the invitation? But we don't need it anymore, do we? No. I think Timur will deal with Boris himself. 
Boris killed his mother. I don't know the details. But I still can't go with you. Why? Because... Because I don't have a passport. Anfisa, my dear, remember. Please remember once and for all. There is no problem that I cannot fix for you. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? You see, if I found out the truth about you, Timur will soon find it out too. And then you'll be in trouble, believe me. Timur Borisovic, information about Alice Tepuyakova. Delete it. I don't need it anymore. You could see it. It's very interesting. Alice hasn't been home for a long time because she lives in America. Let her live. Thank you. We'll provide catering, of course, but the hall still needs some work. We'll remove the mirrors, decorate the room in black and rearrange the furniture. When are you going to do this? Tonight, if necessary. We can finish tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, one question. When is the presentation going to be rescheduled? We don't reschedule anything. There are still nine days to go, and the hall will be decorated. No fooling around with these days, the dead don't need it. We'll say goodbye to her in the morning, and then you'll take things back to the way they were. Boris Ivanovic, for a moment. Thank you, you are free to go. Timur Borisovic was near Kira's house. I thought you should know about it. When was it? After that, he saw her. So keep an eye on Timur. I'm afraid that his mother's death might break him down. Timur Borisovic has already left home. Then why are you still here? Hi. Thanks for coming. No problem. Did anything happen? We could say that. Here you are. What is it? This is information about you that our security team has collected. I haven't read it. Maybe you want to tell me something yourself. I want to, but not now. I'm very worried about you. I know what it feels to lose your mom. How? You have a full set of parents, you told me. There are things that are very difficult to talk about. Sometimes it's easier to lie. When my mom died, it was like something broke in me. I understand. What happened? She died. We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. When's the funeral? Tomorrow. Should I go with you? Thank you. Let's stay together a little longer, can we? We should. Why aren't you sleeping? I understand everything. 
He's young. He's probably somewhat attractive. But Timur is your enemy. He lived in your house, slept in your bed. He went to university instead of you. He took your place. He is not guilty of anything. He had no choice. Now you're protecting him. Please understand. You'll only give in once and that's it. Your life will be ruined. Please calm down. I was just at Tanya's. Let's talk tomorrow. I'm very tired. Well, as you wish. Good night. Sweet dreams. Hey, are you kidding me? Open the door, now. There are times when a person needs to be protected from oneself. What? Are you crazy? Open the door. Come on, come on. Mobile network signal is lost. Great. Let's take a break from modern technology. Damn it. Signal, signal, where's the signal? Damn it, that bastard. You know, Mum, I wanted to introduce a girl to you. For some reason, she didn't come today. You would have liked her. Boris Ivanovic, as for your request, Timur Borisovic spent last night with a girl named Alice Tepliakova or with someone who pretends to be her. Go on. Daughter of Yan Petrovich Tepliakov, a well-known swindler and criminal in narrow circles. Okay. We have already collected information about this so-called Alice. By the way, it was Timur Borisovic's request, but he categorically refused to read it. And what about Alice? And now this is quite interesting. Alice Tepliakova has been living in the United States for a long time. This girl is pretending to be her. Do you know her? Mm -hmm. Anna Tisifanova is the name that Anfisa Voitskovska took for herself. Just look. She's persistent, just like her late father. Well done, you'll get the bonus this month. You know you are always welcome. Son, we need to talk. Where are you going? There's a wake. Don't worry, I'll be in time for your speech. Bastard, I hate you. This will pass soon. You'll realize I was right, please. Your passport is ready. Eat and come downstairs. I'll put the suitcases into the car. Hello, yes? 
no, no, what are you talking about? Everything is almost ready. I'm a pro, yes, of course. Where are you going? Hush, hush. I just want to say goodbye to Tanya. Great. Then I'll take you to Tanya's. When you spent the night with Timur, he actually had a girlfriend whom he had been dating for over a year and men rarely change. He'll do the same to you. I will never betray you. And he's out. Anya. Anya, I'm Fisa. Who the hell are you, huh? You have five minutes. He's so disgusting. Where is your other prince? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It matters. I'm flying away, and I have to leave you in good hands. What would I do without you? I'll think of you every day, and you don't forget me. Okay. You're dreaming. I'll call you every day, and just try not to answer. I love you more than anything, stupid girl. And I love you. Just defeat your dragon, please. I will. Today. Just cha. It's a secret. Okay, good luck. But don't marry this guy. Deal. Tanya, don't be upset. You will see each other soon. Tomorrow you'll call Anfisa and show her your room. Okay, don't worry. We'll take care of her. Take care of her. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why are you crying? If this little girl is so important to you, we could take her with us. However, I would have to settle in a neighboring town. A guest marriage is also romantic, right? We're off the subject, okay? Okay. Let's go quickly. The plane won't wait. We still have to get our things. I am sure you will love Cuba. First, I'll show you Havana and then we'll fly to the islands. I've rented a gorgeous house with a swimming pool and staff. We'll live like kings. What are you doing? Please stand up. Young lady, clear the way. Guys, it's okay. She's just scared to fly. She drank a little to get her courage up. Baby, come on. Anfisa, what are you doing? Get up. Are you with her? No, I'm on my own. I'm asking you not to do it. Come with us, young lady. Guys, please let her go. Our flight's in an hour. Go to the boarding gate. You fool, you won't defeat him. A police car is around the corner so that no one gets scared. Guys are from a top security agency. As soon as you see these people, you take control of them. The girl, the man and Timur. 
detain them on my command. Okay. Hello. Hello. We are pleased to see you. Please come in. Hello? Hello. Excuse me. I didn't expect you to come. I'm sorry, I didn't attend the funeral. I had a valid reason for that. Really, believe me. I believe you. I didn't take the invitation. Is it significant? No, I'll show you. The girl is with me. I have to check the guest. Rules are rules. Timur Borisovic. I set the rules here. That's okay. It's his job. Thank you. Come on in. I'll leave you for a moment. Listen to some music. Okay. You turn off the music. I come out. Is that clear? Don't worry. We've worked it out three times already. Okay. Dad, someone is asking for you. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. Timur Borisovic, please don't change anything. We've prepared everything. Nothing will change. It's just that the presentation will happen from this laptop, for security reasons. My passport name is Anna, any problem with that? Sorry, not allowed. Listen, my daughter and I confused our bracelets. She came with mine, and I took hers. You can clarify, call Timur Borisovic or can I have a look? Yes, sure. Come on in. Thank you, it's nice to be around intelligent people. Yen Petrovich. Nice to see you, gentlemen, all according to plan. Some bad people told us that they had seen you at the airport today. You look like you wanted to fly away to warm countries. That's right, officially, I am out of the country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Before I start let me introduce you my son Timur. He will help me with the presentation. You might have heard about the grief that happened to our family. Initially, we were convinced that we would refuse to make the presentation. But then we made this difficult decision. We must give the world an invention that can save millions of lives. In memory of my beloved wife and the mother of my son. Ladies and gentlemen, our long-term development, a mobile doctor, This small device serves as your personal doctor. It is safe from the human factor. The risk of it making a mistake is close to zero. Our little doctor can measure your blood pressure and pulse rate. It can give you a recommendation on how to quickly get back to normal, thanks to a special app. He can perform a one-drop blood test. Boris Ivanovic, may I ask you a question? We will try to answer all the questions after the presentation. There will be a short press briefing. We need to know this now. Is your blood pressure really 239 over 238?
Let me answer this question. Boris Ivanovic's blood pressure is normal. And this is a small detail that my dad forgot to tell you about. The point is that our mobile doctor can not only help to treat, but also kill a person. Is this a metaphor? No, literally. You can change the indicators of our mobile doctor manually. And based on them, a real doctor can treat his patient to death with wrong prescriptions. And then he or she will die when they realize what they have done. Like it happened to our family doctor, Kira Mikhailovna. After my mother died. You see, ladies and gentlemen, how brilliant my invention is, that even my own son goes to perjury in order to take possession of it. By the way, his collaborators are in the audience. A man named Teplyakov, a thief, a swindler and a card cheat, and my own niece Anfisa, who also chose the wrong path. Why do they need it? I'll tell you. Imagine the perfect plan. Publicly discredit me by inventing this ridiculous legend. Naturally, our company's shares would fall, my name would be destroyed, and this inventive trio will buy my inventions for nothing. Don't believe him, he's lying. Why? I'll tell you what happens next. Son, you'll announce that the developers have fixed the defects, restart the product, and launch it on the market, taking my money. But you did not consider one thing. You've forgotten my lessons. Money is not the most important in life. I've told you many times that there is justice in the world, and justice prevails. Don't take them away, let them stay at the presentation. Let them see fair business succeed. Do not hold them. Maybe they'll learn a lesson. You killed my mom, bastard. We are sorry. You've come to the party. And you see this. But I have nothing to hide from my guests. Yes. It is very difficult for a man who has lost his wife for a father to hear this from his son. But I will try to forgive you, son Anfisa, my girl, did I not help you in life? Didn't I give you a helping hand? Come on, give me a hug. Give your uncle a hug. I believe that your mom, your dad, my beloved brother, they would have wished for this. Okay, everybody stand still or I'll shoot. Now finish your performance and tell everyone the truth. You won't kill me, will you? Anfisa. You can't do that, Anfisa. 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 So, what happened? Tell us. Sooner or later you'll have two. Anna? I'm not Anna. My name is Anfisa. Anfisa Wojtkowska. We are now on the second round. You have nothing against my client. And Timur's wound was an accident caused by self-defense. But Boris Ivanovic was assassinated by his own niece. My client was just trying to protect the people around and himself. He deserves to be rewarded. And why did your own niece want to kill you? For all good things, of course. 
I offered her a hundred thousand dollars to start her life, but she wanted millions. If you don't have anything else, I'll go, it's been a very long day. You are free. You have five minutes. What about Timur? He seems to be alive. And you could be sunbathing in Cuba right now. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. I have never felt more stupid in my life. Thanks for saving my life. And you arranged me a sit in protest in the parking. If you had asked me, I would have staged you a better show. Don't you get it? I didn't want to involve you in this. I'll be waiting for you there. I hope someday you'll understand. I don't think I'll be able to fly anywhere soon. We'll see. I have reason to assume that Boris Wojtkowski killed my mother. My Evelina Wojtkowska and his lover Kira Mikhailovna Kutema. Suspicion means just words. What about evidence? The doctors who tried to reanimate my mother can confirm that at the time of her death she was wearing a bracelet. Boris's invention. Her phone saved the indicators of too high blood pressure, on the basis of which her doctor, Kira Mikhailovna, made the wrong prescription. Then this is a question for the late Kira Mikhailovna. Criminal negligence. She should have checked everything. I didn't finish. There is a bracelet control program. It records all the changes made manually. You will see that it was Boris who changed the bracelet's indications. That's why the doctor prescribed the wrong medicine. And my mom died. Give more details. You can find all the details there. Maybe the e-doctor is the main invention in Boris's life, but it is definitely not his main business. For the app, which allows you to control the bracelet and change the indicators, Boris was supposed to get several times the sum, and in cash. Do you understand what you can do with this app? And what about the doctor? Her death was classified as suicide. Talk to the head of Boris's security. He will tell you who threw Kira out of the window. Is it just that simple? Of course, after my telling you about several cases in which he was personally involved, I'm sure he will be willing to cooperate with the investigation. Okay, Timur Borisovic. We found the bracelet management software in your computer. Please tell us how it works. Okay. Just one more thing. Anfisa Wojtkowska had nothing to do with the attack on Boris. It was he who tried to kill me and frame her. That's very noble of you. But your friend had a gun, an unregistered one. This is my gun. Anfisa got it by chance. Don't touch her. She was saving me. We have different information. Okay. 
Just think about who is more important to imprison. A man who wanted to make millions off people's lives. Or a girl from an orphanage. You decide. Thanks for coming. Here you go. The keys to your house. You can live here. You'll have enough money. What money? Inheritance. Boris outwitted himself. He transferred all his property to my mom to avoid taxes. And she made a will for me and didn't tell him about it. So now it all belongs to me, but it's not fair. But you're his son. No, I'm not his son. And in fact, you should be the heir. At least, I decided so. Wow, you decided. Yes. And one more thing. I brought up the information about your parents' death. I talked to the police, to lawyers. In short, unfortunately, it is impossible to reopen the case of their death. They disappeared in Thailand, and the case term has expired. I know. I'm going to find out what happened in any case. I understand. But it is possible to fly there and start searching on the spot. Or hire detectives to investigate. In any case, I will give you all the information I have. Thank you. You will finally be able to adopt your Tanya with such money, no one will refuse you. What can I give to a child, a naive fool? I thought a girl could defeat a dragon. You did win. How? By taking his money? What's the difference? The dragon is defeated. Cinderella has turned into a princess and now she has two princes. By the way, your dad was worried about you? Yes. He flew away and promised to never come back. Will you join him? No. Who is he to you? Really? The man I never was able to love. Who am I to you? The man for whom I decided to stay. Let's get back to the most discussed news of the last few days. Today, the court passed a judgment in the case of billionaire Boris Voitskovsky. One of the richest men in the country was found guilty of a double murder as a result of the death of his wife, in whose name all the capital of the oligarch was registered, and by the decision of her only son, Wojtkowski's property passed to his niece Anfisa, an orphanage graduate. Anfisa, you have already donated part of the money to help orphans and animal shelters. What are you planning to do next? To enter a drama institute. My girl, you're not supposed to study there, you have to teach there. Where are they? The plane has landed long ago. Don't worry, they'll come. Oh. Tanya. And Fisa. How you have grown, you've become such an adult. Have you defeated the dragon? You doubted me. Of course not. Can we have fun now? Absolutely. Hello. Hi. He's not bad. I'm doing my best. It will be the best holidays ever. Yes, same for me. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme, hop. Here. Come, 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 come. So big. Yeah. <laughs> 